How do you call banks to get business credit? What are things that you need to avoid? What are the important things that you need to make sure that you ask? In today's business credit breakdown, I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide for reaching out to banks, finding the best banks that offer no doc business credit cards and lines of credit, how to keep track of everything, and how to greatly increase your odds of getting approved. So let's dive in. Now I have a lot to cover with you from our recent client call. We're gonna talk about how to determine if your business is 411 listed. Did you know that banks check that before they give you funding? How to set up your website in a way that's easiest to get funding and mistakes to avoid. The importance of starting right where you are when you're looking to find banks that are offering business credit. How to check your Dun & Bradstreet business credit score, your Experian business credit score, and Equifax. And if you stick to the end, I'm gonna give you the script that we use when we call banks. Okay, so how do I know if my business 411 listing is set up? Now, assuming you've already listed your business online. You can use 411 database, super pages, Google My Business, Yelp, even paid services like Moz Local that'll do all the listings for you. There's two things that you want to do. You want to first Google your company name and the state that you're in. So in this example, we Google Trinity Consultants, New Mexico. I can see immediately that the website came up, so that's good. And I can also see on the right here, the Google business listing. So yes, before you apply for funding, it's very important that your company can be found online. The second thing to Google is your actual business phone number. Now, if you don't know this already, you need to have a phone number that's separate than your personal cell phone number. You can use VoIP services like Vonage, Grasshopper, or even Ring Central. I find it best to Google the phone number without any dashes or parentheses, clicked on search, and I was able to find the business and some of the business listings. All right, so that's how you check if your business online presence is ready. All right, so next topic is business credit websites. So how do I set up my website in such a way that I can get approved for funding? Now, the biggest tip here with your website is that you can have a very simple website. It does not have to be this advanced. In fact, it could be a one-page website that you can get for free from services like Wix. You really just need to have the name of your business, the address, and the phone number on your website and a brief description of what your business does. If you use AI or ChatGPT, this can actually be very simple to write a few sentences about your company. The next biggest tip is that you want to avoid writing language on your website that is connected to a restricted industry. So try to keep things a little more neutral here. Avoid certain keywords that are going to give you a challenge with getting approved for funding. For example, industries like lending, credit repair, real estate flipping are a lot harder to get funding with. All right, next question that came up is Dun & Bradstreet. How do we check our Dun & Bradstreet business credit profile? You can do this for free at dnb.com. At the top of the website where it says login, click on view, manage, and update my company information. If you don't have a login for DNB, fill in your business name, address, etc., and click on search. If you have a DUNS number, you will find your business and you can create your profile, paid or free, right there. If you don't have a DUNS number, you're going to need to go apply for one. Dun & Bradstreet assigns you a nine digit business social security number. You're gonna use that to track and monitor your Dun & Bradstreet business credit score. And now how do you check your Experian business credit score and your Equifax business credit score? And there's actually another score as well. It's your SBSS score, Small Business Scoring Service, which is a blended score between business Experian and personal Experian. You can get all three of those scores, Equifax, Experian, and SBSS from nav.com. The biggest thing that you want to track is how many positive reporting trade lines your business has. Do not get too caught up with the numerical or letter rating of your business. The important thing is your trade payment experience. So if your business is paying its bills on time, you're in good shape. You can always use net 30 vendors to boost up your business credit score. All right, let's move on to calling banks. I love working with backyard banks. Backyard banks are banks that are portfolio lenders, meaning they lend their own money. They're a lot easier to get funding with than bigger national banks like Bank of America, Chase, or Amex. We can find these backyard banks by looking at the top SBA lenders in our state, attending networking events, Google searches, or even driving around and just jotting down the names of banks that you see, but you maybe had never even heard of. I use a spreadsheet like this. It has the bank's name, website, and the requirements for business funding, including business credit cards and business lines of credit. Now, I also like to track something that most people don't talk about, and that is if the bank really offers their own business credit card. 
So for example, one of my students mentioned that he has an account with Del Norte Credit Union. So we immediately went to their website, we clicked on business, and we looked at their credit cards. Now what we found is that this credit union does offer their own business credit card. It's not offered through a third party. As you might remember, that does make it easier to get approved. He's already a member of this credit union. So I told him, start where you are. You already have an account with this credit union. Open a business checking account with the credit union. Then either call or visit them and grab their business credit application. Practice filling it out. So that way, when you're ready to apply, you're fully prepared. Now, the power behind these backyard banks is that you can practically get as much business credit as you could ever need. Almost all these business credit card applications are no doc, meaning they don't require tax returns, they don't require financials. Most of them do not report either. So if the banks are not reporting your usage, and when you apply for funding, they're not asking you for a balance sheet, they're not asking you how much debt you have, then you can get very significant amounts of business credit this way. I'm talking about stacks and stacks of business credit cards. Obviously, don't take on more than you can handle, but if you're investing the money in your business, marketing, advertising, into real estate, e-commerce, whatever it is, it can really help you grow and scale your business. All right, now as promised, these are the scripts that I use when I call banks. You can grab a copy of this. I'll include a link in the description. All right, so you call up the bank, ring, ring. Hi, can I speak with someone about getting a business credit card, please? Once you get the right person on the phone, they're gonna ask, how can I help you? Share who you are, what your business does, and ask them what the requirements are for business credit cards. Most banks will actually share with you right there. Do you need a business checking account? Do they need tax returns? Do they need financials? As I mentioned, the majority of banks will not need financials. You can also see in our script, we ask, what states do you offer business credit cards in? Now, here's the power of this. I'm in New Jersey and I call Pennsylvania banks, and I found a handful of banks in my neighboring state that lend to me in my state. And I don't even have to file as a foreign entity filing in that other state. This is a great way to find more local community banks and credit unions all around you so that you can get even more business credit. At that point, we grab their contact information and the process to apply, and we hang up the phone. Now you might need to call more than once to get through to the right person. But if you implement these strategies, you can build your foundation and get ready for when it's time to go apply for business credit.